गुड इवनिंग सर ओके गुड इवनिंग तो एनीबॉडी हैज कुछ डाउट है किसी को प्लीज आस्क मी इफ यू हैव गॉट एनी डाउट मिस्टर सूर्य एनी डाउट यस सर प्लीज गो इट सर वो सर जो फॉर्म सिस्टम होता है वो ऑटो कभी नहीं यूज कर सकते हम लोग हमेशा मैन्युअली यूज करेंगे ना चाहे हाई एक्सपेंशन हो चाहे लो एक्सपेंशन जैसे हाइपर मिस्ट ऑट मतलब कि मैंने दो फायर डिटेक्टर ऑन हुआ तो हाइपर मिस्ट ऑन हो जाएगा बट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ये सर टू डिफरेंट प्राइम तो उसमें भी एक क्वेश्चन है कि मान लीजिए सर एक मेरा मेन इंजन के पास का स्मोक सेंसर एक्टिवेट हुआ और एक इंसिनेटर इंसिनेटर के पास का फ्लेम सेंसर एक्टिवेट हुआ Hmm. No, in only... that case, no, no, in, no. It should be in the same machinery, right? Same section. Yeah. Okay, sir. Hmm. Also, form ka kya wo auto me kabi operate? Usse manually hum isa operate karna hai na? Form? Ah, uh, we'll start with form today. I'll show you the complete uh, line diagram. Then you'll come to know, right? And mostly it is okay. manually. Mostly it is manually. Okay. पंप का ऑपरेशन ऑटोमेटिक हो सकता है पंप वगैरह का होगा बट व्हेन टू यूज फॉर्म दैट इज नॉट ऑटोमेटिक टू बी ऑनेस्ट सर एक और था सर जो आपने कल बताया था एडवांटेज ऑफ हाइपर मिस्ट ओवर वाटर स्प्रिंकलर सो वहां पे हम लोग ये पॉइंट ऐड कर सकते हैं कि हाइपर मिस्ट स्मूदरिंग इफेक्ट देता है जो वाटर स्प्रिंकलर शायद नहीं देता है इस दैट इज वन ऑफ द एडवांटेज वी टोल्ड राइट इट गिव्स अ स्मूदरिंग इफेक्ट आल्सो यस सर ओके सर दैट्स इट थैंक यू ओके एनी अदर डाउट Anybody else? कुछ तो आउट है तो पूछिए। तो देन आई विल प्रोसीड विथ दैट विथ द फॉर्म राइट। वी विल स्टार्ट विथ द फॉर्म टुडे। ओके। सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल, फॉर्म फायर फाइटिंग सिस्टम इट इज़ अ वन ऑफ़ द टाइप ऑफ़ फायर फाइटिंग सिस्टम व्हिच वी यूज़ड ऑन बोर्ड। मोस्टली इट इज़ यूज़ड ऑन tankers okay mostly it is used for the fire fighting in the tankers mostly right so now generally the questions which they are asking in uh, form is like types of form okay and some regulations they will ask okay and how form is made okay we will try to cover all the questions which they are asking so first of all what is form right how it is being made so you might have seen in your ship if you have worked ever on a foam system there is a tank named as a foam concentrate tank right so foam is a mixture of foam concentrate water and air right so whenever there is mixture of concentrate means the solution right like let's say it is a triple f okay aqueous room forming solution right if it is that way then i will mix water and the concentrate it will become foam solution okay if you mix concentrate in water that is solution like you might remember right uh, that uh, soda machine which we had before which we used to buy is that the concentrate like the concentrate of the juice orange juice or strawberry or coca cola right we got the concentrate in very limited quantity of the water or you might see this uh, this uh, squash right ruchi squash and all so that is a concentrate when you add water in that concentrate you get to drink the juice right same way when you mix foam concentrate and water you will get the solution okay the mixture of concentrate and water is just a solution but when air comes into that it will form the bubbles that is called as the foam okay don't worry i will Uh, let you write the definitions from the MSC circular, right? You have to write some definitions. Okay. So first of all, how it works? Which principle? Pay work karta. First of all, it works on the principle of smothering. Smothering is the major principle on which it works. Okay. How it works? Basically, suppose this is a fire, right? On the fuel. As you know, liquid fuel never burns. Okay, it's never the fuel which burns. It is the vapors of the fuel, right? 
so when the fuel is being heated it releases the vapor from the surface okay so that is why we will try to attack the surface of the fuel right where the vapors are being generated so in that case you will just put foam over here it will cover the surface right when it covers the surface it cuts off the supply of oxygen with the fuel right it cuts off the oxygen supply with the fuel surface so it is called as a effect of smothering right whenever you cut off the oxygen supply that is called as smothering now as you know aapka foam mein water bhi hai na it has got some amount of water also so smothering is done by that blanket of foam which is formed understood and there is some amount of water which will give the cooling effect okay so that is the working principle of a foam any doubt shall we proceed yes sir okay okay so this is just a generic uh, diagram right how it working so i'll show you the major terms okay these are just i have explained it in detail but let me show you from the msc circular the actual definition okay please write this what is foam the definition right this one what is foam foam is an aggregate of air filled bubbles Form from an aqueous solution of suitable foam concentrate. Okay, so in generic terms, you can say normally you can say it is a mixture of foam concentrate, water, and air. Aqueous क्या होता है? Which has got water, right? Solution is a solution of foam concentrate and water. Okay. So this is the definition. you can take a screenshot if you like okay now let's move on to the now there are some terms which are first is the expansion ratio what is expansion ratio so it is the ratio okay it is the ratio of volume of the foam generated see this right the ratio of volume of foam generated to the foam concentrate now let me tell you suppose you have taken one bottle of foam right this much you take let's say it is One liter of of foam concentrate. Okay, so let's say this is the one liter. Okay, now when you will add water and air, then foam will be generated. Right? The bubbles, its surface it will cover. Let's say this is the surface. This much let's say as is the surface cover. Now let's say the volume which it covered is. One meter cube. One meter cube means one thousand liter. Correct. So what is the ratio now? It is one is to one thousand. Okay. So it is the volume of final form generated. This is the form generated to the concentrate of the form solution. Okay. Just say we want the concentrate, not the solution, to the volume of form gen generated. That is called the expansion ratio. Means how much the foam is being made from the same volume of liquid. Liquid, how much volume cover was it, and how much volume of foam is being made. That is expansion ratio, and it is very very important expansion ratio. They will ask you, and they will then you will come to know which foam we have to use where, right? Okay, guys, understand what is expansion ratio? Or shall I repeat again? Oh, sir, can you repeat again? Okay. What is expansion ratio? 
So as the name suggests, it is something ratio of the expansion, right? So what they say? The ratio of foam generated, right? That is the finished foam to the foam concentrate used. That is called as a expansion ratio. Wait, I'll just show the definition. I'm going to hear it. Okay. Okay, it is the ratio of uh, solution, right? So expansion ratio is the volume of foam. It is to the solution of the ratio, right? So now let's say you took one liter, right? You have one liter solution, liya, not the concentrate, sorry. It's the concentrate plus the water, right? It means solution. Hai. Okay. Suppose from this foam, when you will add air, right? You will make, let's say, one meter cube of foam because bubbles will be made, right? Let's say, you take a mug of, right, aapne washroom mein, you took a mug of water. You add, let's say, 10 grams of surf in that, okay? Or let's say, 10 ml of liquid soap, okay? And then you put 90 ml of water. Suppose this is your solution, right? Soap, uh, concentrate and water, right? This is your solution. So then you will start shaking it in the, let's say the bathtub or whatever, right? It will generate bubbles. Bubbles will be made. So that is called as a foam, right? Same way, you are taking the foam solution. And then you are making the finished foam. Finished foam can be made. That is with the bubbles, right? It is just in the liquid form. And this is in the bubbles form. Okay, so the ratio of these two is called as a expansion ratio. How much bubbles you are making from the unit volume of the solution, right? I'll just show you the specifications of this. It is here in this in the FSS code One is to twenty is generally the low expansion, right? If the ratio is one is to twenty, that is called as a low expansion form. Okay, then more like between one is to twenty to one is to one fifty. That is the medium, and more than that, more than one fifty. That is wait guys. Mm -hmm. Check numbers. Okay. So if it is going more than that, right? If agar hazar tak jagets goes up to one thousand, that is called as high expansion, right? Okay. In the notes generally, somewhere it is written one is to twenty, and somewhere it is written twelve is to one, right? So in this case, low expansion it is. They have written twelve is to one, but if you see the other notes or some other file, you can see twenty will be right? It is written somewhere 20 also, somewhere it's 12. Okay, so it is low expansion is 12 is to 1 or you can say uh, 1 is to 20. But let it be FSS code wala, ye bolta, okay, 12 is to 1. And high expansion is up to from 150 to 1000, right? 150 to 1000 is high expansion or uske beech mein medium expansion. Hmm. Okay. So over here you see. Okay. You can take a screenshot of this one. This is the industrial standard. One is to twenty the karaya to low expansion, medium between twenty is to two hundred, right? And high expansion more than that. It goes up to one thousand. Up to 1000, right? 1 is to 1000, that is high expansion. 
so it means in low expansion the quantity of foam used will be more right so it will be heavier in weight okay low expansion jo rehta that is heavier in weight compared to a high expansion that is why we will use the low expansion foam in the deck firefighting right because suppose if you use lightweight foam right in the deck firefighting what can happen it might fly away during the wind right aapka kya hoga it might fly away okay so that is why we use low expansion foam in the in the deck firefighting right now suppose you have worked on tanker so you must know what is the system or setup of the foam firefighting right Okay. You see here it is uh, twelve is to one. Somewhere it is twelve to one fifty. Somewhere it is one fifty to thousand. Right. So, sub jaga alag alag diya. This are taken from the DG handout. Okay. Now, sometimes they might ask, what are the types of foam? Generally, you ask them. Aapka is the class two me. Right. But it might ask to be to you also if you worked on tanker. So, if they ask you this question, you have to give the answer. chemical foam and mechanical foam okay one is a chemical foam it is no more used right very rarely you'll find and mechanical foam so we are using which type we are using mechanical foam okay it's going to be further categories and there is pro protein based and uh, synthetic based right we will see that also so what is chemical it is formed by mixing an alkali with an acid right Uh, both stored in separate container when mixed together under chemical reaction they will form foam produced from uh, pressure the co2 gas which is released from the extinction equipment have you heard the people who have already uh, old sailors do you have heard the extinction right soda acid extinction suna aapne soda acid extinction suna kabhi have you heard of that ever soda acid it used Not to sure. come before Okay, it used to come before. These days we don't have. So that was that kind, right? Chemical form. Ab nahi aata apka. Now we are only going for the mechanical form. It is produced by mixing a foam concentrate with water to produce a foam solution. The bubbles formed are turbulent mixing, formed by turbulent mixing of air and the foam con solution. So you will do the mixture means abrupt mixturing of the solution with the air. Then the bubbles are formed. bubbles are formed which will be used for the fire fighting okay so that is the mechanical form we will only concentrate on the mechanical form okay okay let me show you the actual setup this is how it works basically uh, no पढ़ता हूँ फाइल। तो मैं बस तो पोस्ट किया था। हम्म ओके आर टेकन फ्रॉम अ मैनुअल राइट एक फोम का सीधा मैनुअल लिया था हमने ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द फोम सिस्टम वर्क्स ऑन अ शिप राइट दिस इज हाउ इट वर्क्स सो देयर विल बी अ फोम टैंक ओके हियर यू कैन सी द फोम टैंक दिस इज द स्टोरेज ऑफ द फोम टैंक राइट सो इट नाउ हियर इट हैज शोन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ 3000 लीटर राइट ये आपका फोम टैंक आ गया okay then this is the pump ye aapka ek pump rehta hai okay this is a pump that is called as a foam pump so what it takes basically it takes the foam from here and it takes the water from there right aapka fire and gs pump hoga right and this is the mixing wall yahan pe okay over here so you have to open it and then you will 
it will take the sea water from here and foam will be coming from here right and then it will give that to the further line right aage aapka line mein discharge karega over here right these are the foam monitors okay and mixing kitna karna that will be decided by this this is called as a proportionator right isko bolte hain proportionator sometimes sir, it is yes uh, so this spray 1000 liter is just for foam concentrate sorry this 3000 liter tank is just for the foam concentrate uh, yes yes this is just the capacity for foam concentrate sir right sir uh this is generally i think no no it is not concerned it's the solution solution okay okay uh wait actually just let me check isme dekhna padega mujhe because last time this is not my ship's manual so otherwise i would have explained just a minute uh, i'll just check that uh, with my friend like from where i got the manual right and then i'll let you know i don't want to Say something wrong, right? I'll just check with him in the evening, and I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. But most probably it might be solution, right? It might be, but I'm not still sure, right? So I don't want to give a wrong answer anyway. Hmm. It forms a solution. Propose later. Pardon. They have written form liquid right over here. I'll just check that right, and then I'll let you know. Okay. Anyway, so this is a pump, right? Generally, this wall which we are seeing over here, this wall, right? This is generally closed. This wall is generally closed. FM two zero four. So how we work is that you have to start the GS pump, fire GS pump. It will pressurize your sea water line, right? Fire line को pressurize कर देगा. Then water will come from here over here, right? Normal condition, this wall is closed. Okay. Then the water will go from here, from here. Now this is the eductor, right? This is the eductor. Okay. Kind of a eductor. What a proportionator, right? But works on the principle of eductor, right? So this is a convergent divergent nozzle. Okay. This is a convergent. and divergent nozzle so because of that there is drop of pressure in the center right so what will happen because of that it will start sucking the foam okay it will start taking in the foam in the line so after that the water sea water and the foam they will start mixing and that same is delivered in the line still it is only the abhi tak yahan pe aapka pura liquid rahega right so ek other कलर पेन यूज कर सकते हैं फॉर बेटर क्लियरेंस रेड आर लिख रहा हूं जस्ट अ मोमेंट सॉरी आई विल रिड्यूस द थिकनेस आल्सो नॉट सो ये आप आपका आ गया फॉर्म टैंक राइट Okay, this is your foam tank, right? Foam tank. Supposedly, let's assume it is the concentrate now. Let's assume, right? Concentrate. But I'll confirm it and then I'll let you know. Let's say it is concentrate. Okay. So generally, what is over here? This is a non-return wall. Okay. Then this wall FM two zero four. It has to be closed generally. It is closed. Generally, इसको बंद रखते हैं. Okay. so what is happening over here these are the two pumps they are of the fire line pumps right fire pump hai aapke so when the pump is started the water will start coming from here that it goes to here right and then it goes to here and over here right now this is the proportionator right this is called the proportionator right or we can say the proportionate one this is a stationary type Okay, this is a stationary type. Means, one bar fix kar diya value, only that value will stay. Now, because of here the shape, it is like this, right? Convergent, divergent nozzle. 
So at the center, what will happen? There will be drop in the pressure. To compensate that, air will be vacuum produced, right? So from here, the foam will start coming inside. Sorry. Over here, right? So it is coming over here. Yahan se aapka foam aa gaya over here, right? Yahan, I'll just make it blow. The foam is coming from here. Okay, the concentrate. The water is coming from here in the fire line. Now, after this water, we will have we will have a mixture. Okay. Now the foam solution is coming from here. Okay. Yes, it has to be foam solution only, right? Water yahan se aa raha, concentrate wahan se aayega. Okay. Now it is still in liquid form. Yahan pe aapka still liquid hai. Because abhi aapka air isme nahi aaya. Because there is absence of air, no bubbles will be formed. It is just a solution, right? It's it is coming from air, here. And here, right? So now you can operate any of these valves. Suppose if you want to fight at this point, you have to just open this wall and start firefighting. You have to open just this wall and start firefighting. I'll tell you how it looks like this this part, right? I'll tell you how it looks like. And this is one of the portable, right? You can take it with your hand and use it on the deck. कहाँ आपको use करना है? Okay, I'll wait. I'll just show you. Okay, this is the the one applicator which I'm showing you, right? So this is the portable one. You have to connect the pipe and use it wherever you like. Okay, this is the portable applicator. The other one which I'm showing you that is this monitor. Look here. If me niche me wall raha tha, you have to just use the nozzle, right? Iske upar me. You have to just operate it. It might be located at the different places or location of your ship. It will depend. Kahan pe aapko chahiye, right? We will see that also. कहाँ पे क्या requirement रहता है? Guys, you got some idea how is this? How it looks like? It is in this way. So from here only foam will come. Okay. These are the different types we have for the monitors, right? ऐसा आपका monitors रहते हैं. Trolley वाला भी हो सकता है. Then portable ground and foam monitor, long range water. ओके, सो दिस इज फिक्स्ड ऑन द डेक ये डेक पे रहते हैं आपके ओके सो यू हैव टू सी वेयर इज द फायर एंड देन यूज इट अकॉर्डिंगली ये देखिए ये आपका फोम टैंक है ओके दिस इज योर फोम टैंक ओके दिस इज द गेज ग्लास फॉर दैट वेर यू कैन सी द लेवल ओके दिस इज द फोम पंप Have you seen the foam pump like this? Vertically arranged at Amesha. Guys, have you seen the foam pump in your in your ships? जो tank के बाहर रहता है. Yes, yes. Okay. So he is pushing the foam right, the concentrated of the foam into the line, and the mixing takes place in the eductor right. That is called as a proportionator. But somewhere we have a controlled proportionator also. Means you can set the value. and accordingly it can open and close okay that is automatic control also means you will give the value and it will move it up and down accordingly uh, so where does this air uh, come and mix when we uh, project it out sorry uh, where does the air mixing come uh, we have done? the proportionator for water and uh, uh, the foam yes i'll just show you Actually, if you have seen the proportionator closely, right, there will be air holes in the just prior to the entry, right, exit. Sorry, can you see this one? These are the slots from where the air will enter just before the exit. यहाँ से आपकी air आती है. From here, right, before just the exit, they have these holes in the base. I'll just try to show you. Foam nozzle. There is a spraying nozzle. Sorry, uh, the spraying nozzle that yes, water is. Yes, at yes, yes, exactly at the spraying nozzle over here. Just a moment, I'll just show you on the internet. Right. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes, go ahead. सर ये फोम एप्लीकेटर और फोम मॉनिटर में क्या डिफरेंस है सर एप्लीकेटर विच यू कैन मूव इट हेयर एंड देयर राइट यू कैन पिक इट विद हैंड एंड यू कैन मूव इट हेयर एंड देयर एंड मॉनिटर मींस इट इज फिक्स्ड एट वन पोजीशन 
ओके ठीक है देर इज समिंग कॉल एज अटेबल मॉनिटर ऑल्सो बट दैट विल बी फिक्स ऑन वन पोजिशन देन यू टू मूव इट जैसे ये आपका ये आपका फोन इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेटेड इज मॉनिटर ओके दिस इज अ मॉनिटर ये मॉनिटर वर्ड थोड़ा कंफ्यूज करते हैं ना मॉनिटरिंग क्या मॉनिटरिंग करते हैं नो बिकॉज व्हेन यू सो द लेटेस्ट अमेंडमेंट फॉर कंटेनर शिप अगर आप देखोगे उसमें भी आपका मेंशन किया हुआ है राइट यस प्लीज हैव गिव फोकस ओवर हियर दीज आर द होल्स कैन यू सी आपको होल्स क्लियर हियर कैन यू सी द होल्स क्लियरली हियर सो दिस इज फ्रॉम वेयर द एयर विल एंटर एंड मेक इट द यहां से आपका इट विल मेक द फोम राइट You see here also, over here, right? Holes are given, okay, for the air entry. Then you see this also, this one, right? In it, this also we have holes, right? So as I said, आपका यहाँ पे भी देखिए यस दिस वन. You see the holes over here, right? So this is from where the air will enter. Understood? See now you see over here. Initially, what is coming? Only water is coming, right? on was developed by the Kita Kyushu City Fire Department and decided to use this soap technology to develop an entirely new so I'll just send you the video right uh, this was i think by dp marine or some home um, fire fighting this dot portable type and when it is in the sorry when it is in this apni bhasha mein apne sawalon ka jawab pao bhai nahi customer care ki saza lijiye rami ka maza hamare paas alag se monitors hote hain specially this technique is used in the air aircraft hangar also You just try to see this, right? Look, yeah. So, so this part. Now it's part four. But in some number of phone calls, you know, it's part of it. Suppose it was CO two, right? If it was CO two, 
Then this guy is walking right through in the fall. But nothing happened to him. Okay. Same thing might not have happened in case of CSO. It is not the yard station where it comes from. In this case, the advantage that in six form, you can see use the addition of hazard of him. Not very hazard of him. You will not suffer it. You can see the person walking through freely, right? So this is the one advantage you can say in case of a foam compared to CO2, right? Okay, I'll just uh, see that. Yes, I think this is the one good. No. Okay, anyway. Uh, sir? Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, in case of this uh, portable foam extinguishers, we'll be saving the uh, foam solution inside the cylinder uh, and yes. the air will be mixed, mixed with when it is nozzled out, right? Yes, yes, correct. In the nozzle only. Okay, sir. And you know, we also have this uh, technique called as uh, there's a separate can, okay, and we have a, this uh, portable uh portable nozzle right so you have to put that uh, yes, in the yes, can yes. and connect it with the fire hose right and the moment you put that uh, pipe in the solution right in the concentrate it will start giving up out the foam right you might have done it in the practical in that uh, fire yes, sir, yes, sir. and that's mainly for on the application right yes yes that is done by the portable foam applicator right correct So we have done. Then uh, types of foam, that is chemical and mechanical, right? So it's not further. Uh, alcohol resistance, aqueous film forming solution, right? One is alcohol resistance and a protein based. Protein based foam are generally used for your deck firefighting, right? It is used for the deck firefighting, right? So please write this, this is important. Uh, where to use high expansion foam and why, right? So high expansion foam is generally used in the engine room because there is no interruption of a wind, right? Wind cannot blow out the foam in, when we use inside the engine room because wind map interfere. But when you are using the open deck, we will always go for a low expansion foam, okay? Now this is just a basic diagram. So there is a foam tank, foam pump, Proportionator, right? It controls the amount of foam concentrate in the foam solution. Means it will decide how much of foam I have to send, how much of concentrate I have to send in the line, right? So, कितने percent में solution बनाना? Because sometimes we have three percent uh, solution, six percent and one percent, different different आते हैं आपके, okay? Accordingly, you will choose the proportionator. Yes, this is the one I was talking about, that uh, portable one, right? So this is connected to your fire line. This is the hose, right? The moment you dip this tube in the concentrated supply, it will start giving out foam from the end, right? So here your hose is here. There are the holes are located over here. It's not in the diagram, but it is over here, right? In the just the end. And this is the diagram you can draw. Simple diagram. Foam room, drain, then foam solution, foam pump, proportionator, right? This is the proportionator where the mixing of foam and the water will come, right? And after this, it is foam solution. This is concentrate, here it was water. And this valve is given for the flushing. Suppose you have used it, now you want to do the flushing. Just close the outlet of the foam solution tank, this foam tank, and then you do the flushing with the water to clean the line, right? This is the inside of the proportionator, right? So this is a low pressure area because of the shape, right? So water inlet is there. Now this is a low pressure. So we will have the concentrated coming in. Simple physics, right? Here you have orifice, metering orifice.
Now, generally, they might ask question: What is the maintenance you have to do on the uh, foam system, and what are the SOLAS regulation, right? So, I'll just show you from the manual itself. Manual say they can maintain the stacker. Okay, maintenance. Okay, weekly. Check that all walls are free and are in correct position, right? Sare wall aapke free hai, they are in the correct position. Then check the level of foam, kitna flow mein aapke tank mein, okay? In the storage tank. Then check for the, the movement of the monitors, right? Jo bhi aapke monitors hai, they are in, all in the normal position mein. They are working properly. Rotate ho rahe hai, koi jam nahi. That is a weekly check you will do. Then monthly, monthly jo aapke week wale hai, wo to aane aane, right? Same, it's coming over here, point number three. Now coming to the point number four, duty of an ETO. Check electric supply to the foam liquid pump. Okay, do not run the pump dry. Suppose you want to run the foam pump, you have to just open the recirculation valve and line crop recirculate key, right? Just run it in the line. Open fire water C-section valve to the pump. Okay, and open fire water distribution wall and start the fire pump. Wall query and start the fire pump, right? And you have to try the monitor at the farthest point on monitor, right? And run for few minutes. Jobi apka deck me, which is the large, last or we can say the farthest point of uh, foam, right? That we will operate and we will see that it is working good, right? And there should be no trace of form liquid in the system. Okay, I would like to ask you, suppose, why we are doing this? Why we are running the foam pump, sorry, the fire pump, and we are checking that is there any foam coming out or not? Tank a valve hamara band there. The tank valve is closed. But why they say in maintenance, you have to start the pump at the farthest point and see that no foam is coming. Why it is so? Kya milega aapko usko? Leakage. Correct. We have to check for the leakage of the wall, right? If you saw foam in that coming, means that wall is leaking, means there is loss of foam quantity. Okay. So we will check for leakage. And if it is okay, then stop the pump and put all walls to normal position. Means the foam tank wall should be open in that case, right? Okay. Half yearly means six months. So in that case, uh, run system for at least three months. Uh, uh, three months to ensure satisfactory form is being produced and system functions normally. Okay. So you can try, you have to try it every half yearly. Then you have to clean the strainer of the pump. Uh, foam liquid level. Check foam liquid strainer and clean and accessory means aapko filter change karna padega Clean, right. You have to clean it. Then make sure that all walls are free. Same thing, right? Monitors are free. Okay. Annually, what you have to do? You have to check the motor bearings. You have to check the condition of the motor bearings and do the greasing when it's necessary. Okay. With fresh grease. And draw off the sample. You have to take the sample of the foam tank. Okay. And send it for analysis. Now, how much sample you have to take and where we to send? Sorry. Uh, how much sample do we need to take? That we will see. Anybody has an idea? Kitna sample chahi hota? How much sample we need for testing? We need almost of two liter, sorry, two quantity of 20 liter drums, right? See, the sampling method should ensure representative sample should be stored in a filled container. The sample size should be two into 20 liter container, right? 20 liter ka container hai ta, wo aapne do bharne, right? And you have to send it for sampling. And two liter for periodical controls. Means aapke khud ke record clear to keep two liter of the sample at that time. 40 liter will send to shore, 2020 ka do drum and two liter will keep it with you. Now they might ask you what type of test you have to do. Okay, in the form. So 
so you will not do the test it will be done by the company itself right the short party so one is freezing and thawing what is freezing and thawing thawing means suppose first of all you will uh, make the foam solution to freeze right freeze karoge aap usko and later you will bring that in the room temperature and then you will see how much temperature does it takes to thawing thawing basically kya hota hai you take any freeze uh, you have uh, see uh, let me tell you okay in the ship right you might have seen cookie the cook of the vessel he takes out the non veg right and keep it in the water have you seen that defrosting right is defrosting kind of thing that is called as thawing so what you do is that you will take the sample you will put it in the freezer right means not you but the shore party and then they will allow it to come to defrost right so that is called as a thawing you can see uh, over here uh, to prevent the glass moving from due to expansion of the thing uh, place the cylinder with the sample in the chest and cool it and maintain at required temperature for 24 hours at end of this period thaw the sample means let it defrost or thawing for not less than 24 hours but not more than 96 means you have to keep it for 24 hours to 96 hours in ambient temperature of 20 to 25 degrees celsius okay that is what is thawing then heat stability they will not ask you the procedure ek aap isme ph dal dena right kinematic viscosity ph okay you know viscosity test, test we are doing and ph value so these are the test we will do expansion ratio then drainage time and fire test right so these are the test we do i'll just show you what is your uh, drainage time uh, that is like a good diagram in my pass usme kya karte we will put it in the bottle and then we will see how much time it is taking to drain from the bottle right just a moment i'll show you hmm. Okay. Uh, just one more thing, guys. Please take a, a screenshot of this one. How does your form work? Please take a screenshot. So this is you have to say when they ask you working on the form, right? The yellow part. Okay. Done. Okay. This is how they do the expansion test. So what they do is that they will take the foam solution, right, in the same cubic uh, container, and they will see its weight, okay, and then they will make it solution ka foam banayenge, okay, and then they will see in same container if I put the weight, uh, sorry, same uh, amount of uh, foam in the same container. So how much is the weight? So that is how they will get the expansion, okay, and drainage time. you will put the foam okay and then you will put a container below in this manner right and then you will see how much time it takes the foam to make water kitna time lagta hai usko we takes uh, let's say this is a 100 ml of foam so kitna time lagta hai 25% water banane mein that is called a drainage time so we have operators like this they are not going to ask you the complete test but i'm just telling for information right Understood. How much time it will take from foam to making of water? This is called a drainage time test. And pH level you can test right. Yes, this is the one right that for foam fire fighting. This he has done. He has put one of the you can see over here right. The pipe is coming from the applicator and it is getting inside the concentrate tank right. This man. And over here he has got a bigger size. Okay, this is a monitor. यहाँ पे आपके होल्स दिख रहे हैं आपको? Can you see the holes, guys? In the back right over here. Yes, sir. Okay. You can see this is the air inlet in that diagram, right? Low expansion foam in it. This is the air inlet. यहाँ पे रहता है आपका. Okay. 
This is the tube where we connect the foam, right? This is the monitor. You will keep it in one place and you can use it. So this is the finished foam. Mesh is there. Okay. Then air inlet, very small, given over here, right? Diffuser. So air will enter from here. Then filter is there, right? Then we have some portable also. You might have done it in the uh, practical, right? A bada sa fan rata. You have done it right in the practical. They will fill this form in the room. Have you seen that? AFFK practical me. So there are different different designs, right? You can sometimes you can. Control the scale also means how much you want to discharge. Okay. And sometimes it is automatic also means you can control how much to keep. Okay. Okay, now coming on to the regulations, right? That is the important part which we asked gently. So we'll do it uh, this time. Looks like this code may have a sub. Hmm. So this is important. We are first talking about the high expansion form. Please listen carefully. So it is being used. High expansion. Where use it? First of all, guys, where do we use high expansion? Engine space. Yes, in the engine room, right? In the machinery spaces. So if you want to use it over there, what are the things you have to do, right? Means, okay. what is the criteria? What is the criteria in that case? So any required high expansion form I'm talking about in system and machinery shall be capable of rapidly discharging through fixed discharge outlets. You, same like you saw in the video, right? Airport hangar wala. To fill the greatest space to be protected at a rate of at least one meter in depth per minute. Means suppose this is the room you're going to protect, right? Okay. Now, suppose this is the engine room. Then if you want to start fighting here with the foam, then it must start covering one meter of the depth, right? Let's say this much is one meter. Okay. So this much height should be covered within how much time? Yes, within one minute. So within one minute, see? at least one meter in depth per minute. Okay. So at how much foam do we need? The quantity of foam forming liquid shall be sufficient to produce a volume of foam equal to five times the volume of largest space we protected. Means suppose if the engine room right protection we need, let's say its volume is thousand meter cube. Okay. How much I need foam? I need foam such that it can cover the same volume five times. This whole space has to be covered five times. Means I can fight the fire five times with this. Okay, so that much should be the quantity of the foam. Sufficient to produce the volume of foam is equal to five times the volume of the larger space to protect it. Right, these are the two important points. One is one meter in one minute, right? And five times of largest space to be protected. You understood this point or no? Or shall I repeat, guys? This point is important. Now I am 
talking about high expansion income. High expansion. So what they say, I must be able to cover how much? One meter of depth in one minute. And quantity should be such that largest space to be protected इसके लिए जितना वॉल्यूम रिक्वायर्ड और वी कैन से कितना क्वांटिटी चाहिए क्वांटिटी इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू फोम फोम सोल्यूशन फॉर लार्जेस्ट स्पेस राइट इज इट दिस पॉइंट क्लियर हुआ आपको मतलब आपका लार्जेस्ट स्पेस अगर आपको उसको प्रोटेक्ट करना है तो इतना फोम सोल्यूशन होना चाहिए दैट यू आर एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट इट फाइव टाइम्स राइट फाइव टाइम्स आप उसको पूरा भर सको ओके ओके नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द डेक फॉर्म राइट मीन्स दैट इज द लो एक्सपेंशन फॉर्म एंड वन मोर थिंग इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट The expansion ratio should not exceed thousand is to one. So there are three points in this. This line and thousand is to one and the one meter per minute. Okay. Now coming on to the slow expansion. Slow expansion. Sir, what? Huh? What are the safeties in this foam system, sir? One question was asked. Okay. I'll just show you. Just a minute. Let me finish this. So the system shall be capable of discharging to fixed discharge outlet means your monitors right or the applicators in not more than five minutes a quantity sufficient to cover a depth of one fifty mm the largest single area where the fuel is liable to spread. See wherever you might have a chance. Let's say this is a whole deck right. Okay. So you must have so much quantity so that you are able to cover this whole deck to height of how much? 150 mm deck pair right low low uh, low expansion foam right within how much time within 5 minutes okay and what is the expansion ratio we should have yes maximum to, it's allowed is almost shall not exceed 1 is to 1 12 is as per fss code right when you say 1 is to 12 in the orals you must give a reference to the fss code Okay, understood, guys. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So your question is, what are the safeties in the foam system, right? So in this we have, so your tank, in it, your low level alarm will be there, right? There is a low level alarm in the. Just a minute, I'll just show you. And then motor will have the. कहा Okay, this is a portable, right? Portable tanks. This also you can note down, right? If you want protein-based from your sub health, and we can correct it, right? This also you can try. Okay, so in this, you know, your uh, pump. It has sorry, the tank has got low-level alarm first of all. Okay, and then there is a non-return valve fitted at the. 
फाइल रहे आप इसमें देख लेना है यहाँ पे ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज द लेवल राइट लो लेवल अलार्म एंड देन दिस इज अर नॉन रिटर्न वॉल विच इज ऑल्सो एक्टिंग एज अ सेफ्टी सो दैट so that the water does not enter the foam tank right water doesn't enter the foam tank then uh, the pump might have some safety or something it is also okay this uh, foam system has also connection from the emergency uh, generator right it has got a connection from your emergency generator also jo foam pump rehta na uska this system it has got connection from that also बाकी तो अगर मुझे मिलता है no i'll just check right apart from this uh, low level and they are not turn wall agar kuch hai to right i'll just check that and yes we also have a recirculation drain to avoid the uh, over time you know quality aapka kharab ho sakta it might get separated so we have a recirculation line also for that that also you can consider it as a safety okay okay guys but still i'll uh, check that and i'll check that Mostly it will be foam consolidate only. And कल क्या करना है रिस्क असमेंट और शेलेस शॉर्ट विथ एनएक्स तो एनएक्स सिक्स ओके सो तुम्हारे आल शॉर्ट विथ एनएक्स सिक्स राइट ओके सर थैंक यू